Today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to stop Bunch in Madden 25 utilizing a match defense. Now, if you guys want to get my full uh, ebook on the defense we're going to be talking about today, you can get access to that by becoming a member of our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. And we're actually going to be dropping this defense in the community uh, later this week. This is the 4 3 even 6 1. And this defense is really good because it's probably the best sheds in the game. It has match coverage, which we're going to be talking about, and it has uh, some really good blitzes and great against the run. So it's a very versatile defense. For your coaching adjustments here, you don't have to have auto flip on. You can turn that off. Auto alignment set to base. Baseline is probably the best for this. Option defense on conservative. And then everything else is going to be on default. And we're going to be coming out in the 4-3, even 6-1. And we're going to be coming out in the play cover four quarters. Now, the cover four quarters is a match defense as long as you have these quarter flats on the field. So we're going to first just kind of run a rep and then we'll talk a little bit about everything else. So I'm just going to run this and we'll just use like a corner route and a streak. And then we're going to show you that you're going to get a match principle. Now, as you see, obviously really good sheds, right? But the thing that I want to show you is if I shade underneath, if I shade my coverage underneath and I take these quarter flats off of the field, then what's going to happen is this corner route is not going to get, it's not a match concept anymore. They're not matching. They're playing spot drop cover for coverage. So I actually really like this change. The reason why I like this change is because you're now able to kind of control whether you want to play match or you don't want to play match based on your zone distribution on the field. So that being said, how do we use match coverage to be able to defend gun bunch? What's the best way to be able to use this? And I want to show you one other thing that we are going to have a fix for you later uh, in this video. So if they go to a four strong look like this, this also, even though I have my match coverage, it's not going to match properly. As you can see, it's more of a spot drop cover four at that point. Now we have a workaround for that. We're going to show you at the end of the video, but this is how I like to play match defense against bunch. It's very, very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to show blitz. Now the purpose for showing blitz is to get these safeties down in the box. And then I like to individually um, basically slant my defensive line to the uh, either side really uh, at this point you can crash out you can crash your defense line honestly any any direction that you want I think in this year's game I really like to crash down and then QB contain because the rollout is still a thing but the main adjustment that I want you to make and this is what's going to make this really good against bunch is we're going to deep half this right of screen guy now the reason we're going to do that is I'm going to run kind of a standard bunch combo that I think is really good and then we're going to show you kind of how this plays. And then we're going to talk a little bit about kind of what's going to what's going on here. So you see here, really nice combo. And we're able to play really good defense. Now, what we're banking on with this defense is that our defense is going to be able to shed pretty quickly. So we're looking at about three seconds of coverage. And what you're going to see here is we're getting a box check on the right side. So the reason you call match, the why behind using match generally is to use this outside quarter to take away any kind of compression corner out. So it takes away any corner out from the bunch side will be taken away by this defender. Now what we're able to do with this, and this is actually something that's really good this year, is these inside quarters are going to do a really good job. Uh, this inside quarter here to the left is going to do a really good job of matching that tight end post or any kind of crosser coming from the bunch side. And then the last thing is we have this fade now, uh, or this seam streak. This seam streak is one of the best routes in the game this year. And the best thing that we're doing against this is we're using a deep half. Now, now, if you want to, another really cool adjustment, I'm going to explain why you might want to do this adjustment here in just a second. So I'm going to kind of see if I can force this throw. I want to first show you it against match and kind of show you why you need to do this on your defense. So one of the reasons why, and I think I accidentally um, messed my match up, so let me reset the play. One of the reasons why you need to be adjusting that right side safety is because if you do not adjust that right side safety, and let's just say we call this same exact route combination. Oftentimes this R1 receiver is gonna be a touchdown over the top pretty consistently, honestly. So I this is one of the big reasons why we're adjusting that right side safety. Now, a little bit of a hidden tip within a tip is we deep half here on the right side. Now this is something that only the best bunch players in the world are even gonna to know to do this. If you wait on this streak you can freeform this 
up into the inside if you don't get pressured. So you see how I'm getting the pressure there? If I don't get the pressure home, then I have a chance to hit this. And I'll show you how to adjust against that in just a minute. But also, you know, kind of first and foremost, let's, uh, let's show you what happens. So again, we have that streak there. And that's the main route that you need to guard in this play. It's the only route that's not going to get matched well. And you'll see here that if I wait on this this year, these deep halves are super broken, and I can just throw this over the middle and can sometimes freeform it. So you're like, okay, so what do you do to stop that? Because you can't inside quarter him because he's going to play match coverage. So what do you want to be – what do you want to do? Uh, what I think you can do easily is just an inside third. If they're starting to hit you with that a lot, um, the inside third should be able to handle this. And so you'll see here the inside third will handle – basically a streak on both sides and then you're still going to get that match that you want to be able to get now this is really important i really think you should be showing blitz if you're not showing blitz this outside quarter will sometimes match him randomly which is not really what we want so let me come back through here and i'm also going to talk a little bit about what to do against double post and why this is really good against double post so you see here this is perfect perfect coverage exactly really what we want so i really like to 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 uh middle third um, but again, if you want a deep half, the biggest thing, guys, is you just need to kind of understand that sometimes this deep half, it can get had. So if, if that's, uh, you know, moving to the middle a little bit more, I mean, you just got to kind of be anticipating of that. But other than that, that's really the only route on the field that really can give us a ton of issues. You'll see here that against verticals, this crosser gets matched by that quarter. And a lot of times that quarter will be able to use her. Uh, he'll be able to pick that off consistently. So that's something that I like to do. Another little tip within a tip that I wanted to go over that I do think is kind of, uh, kind of also good. Again, we're talking about the, the streak being kind of problematic. Another thing that you can do um, if you're willing to kind of, I guess, leverage your user a little bit more here is you can actually go inside third on the left side safety with a deep half here. And the reason why you might want to do this is your basic deal is you can now switch stick, right? So we can just switch onto the quarter flat, take this away, let that three rec kind of look for work underneath. We can switch stick underneath the match defense really well as well. Now, the main thing that we're trying to stop and the main thing that we need to stop, and if we don't stop, they're going to throw it on us again and again and again, is truly this right side corner. So I do want to show you that this is really good defense against that. You'll see here the match is just going to do a really good job. Sometimes that quarter will kind of dumb out, but typically he's going to be fine. Let's, uh, let's actually leave him backed off this time just to see if he plays a little bit better here. You'll see backed off, and he's still kind of dumbing out. I like to show blitz. I think that plays a little bit better, but in general, you know, this is kind of what we're looking for. Just a simple deep path here. And then normally, uh, this is going to like street corner flat. You should be good on this as well. So like if they're using just kind of a basic traditional corner, you see that he's able to play that. And normally going to play most corner routes to that bunch side, really from whoever. So like even if it's like a tight end corner type of deal, you know, as long as you deep half that right side safety, for the most part, this should play uh, pretty good. And there you see it. I mean, the power of of the 6-1 defense. It just gets really good pressure. So that is how I like to defend bunch. One other thing we didn't show yet um, is double post. So obviously one of the more popular plays in the game. Take a look at this inside quarter. Just absolutely uh, late. He is going to match this, and this is always taken away. So you're going to be able to take away double post. Double post, which is probably the best bunch play in the game, is really not equipped to be able to beat this play. Uh, all you basically have to do is take the running back underneath. If you see them run double post, you want them to throw the ball right into that quarter because that's a pick. I just got to click on actually catch the ball, but that's a pick 100 times out of 100 this year. So they're not going to be able to run double post, which is one of the big reasons why I'm in this defense. I think this is super big. Um, you know, them not being able to run probably the best play in the game, super helpful for me. So we're able to stop really the main plays in bunch. Verticals, we stop that. Uh, double post, we stopped that. Street corner flat, we stopped that. Let's talk about smash return just for a second here. It's another staple uh, of a play. So I'm just going to let this run, and you're going to kind of see here that it does okay. The main thing you want to do is with your user, you're going to need to 
basically lurk. So the posts and crossers, they the reason why I like match this year, posts and crossers really don't kill it. You can get really nice coverage out of this against this. And let me actually give you a better look here where we uh, we actually use our somebody here. So we'll go smash return. We'll drag the tight end, post this guy. We can even stem him down one. And then we'll, we'll kind of run a play like this. So what you see here is my main thing that I'm looking to do is take this away. And you see how the match is going to do a really good job at kind of taking everything else that they're able to do. And we're going to be just fine against that. So this is a really, really good play and really, really good defense for the main way that people like to play at a bunch. Now, I want to show you one simple adjustment that I like to do whenever they start to audible over to mesh flat spot and things like this. So all we're going to do, um, very simple, is we are going to take this defensive, this linebacker on the right, we're going to put him in a vert hook. We're going to shade our coverage outside and underneath. And then we're going to soft squat this outside corner. So you see this is a quarter, quarter, half look. And the reason I like this is because I can really play pretty good defense. So you see, there's that there's that instant instant pressure from six one. This is why you run six one because you get stuff like that all the time. But let's let me show you mesh flat spot here, and we'll actually slide to the right here. But basically, shade down the vert hook like this, and then the soft squat. Now, you can make a, a, a choice if you want a half there on the right or if you want to leave the quarter. I don't really hate leaving the quarter this year, honestly. But in general, um, you'll see that that soft squat will match, will match that, um, that outside corner. And I do think that that soft squat matches a little bit better if I don't press. So if it's a route combo like this, soft squat, half, and then vert hook like so, and then what you'll see is, there you see, and there's the match from that soft squat. So what that forces your opponent to have to do is he has to basically put some type of flat route to take to uh, mess up that match. So it would be, now we have to send five out. Well, if you have to send five out against 6-1, you're going to get pretty good pressure. And so what we'll basically do is essentially the same defense, right? But all we have to do now is we're just going to switch stick onto the uh, vertical hook defender. So you'll see here, kind of snap, oh, we read, oh, running back. Okay, we'll just switch stick to that and make them throw that tight end in the middle of the field. That's one of my favorite ways to defend uh, the, the audible over. But, yes, your, your, um, your formation will not be able to be matching. But – in general, still a really, really good defense and, and definitely worth running. So I really like to cover four quarters this year. I think it's one of the better defenses in the game. I love the fact that it can pretty much stop every meta bunch combo in the game. And I think it's just a really, really good defense this year as long as you can protect against the one-play touchdowns, which is why you're putting this guy in an inside quarter or uh, – I'm sorry, an inside third or a deep half. That pretty much is going to handle most of that. And then, as I said, you see here, I mean, verticals is just, just going to be taken away. And feel free to always, like, if you see the run, one of my favorite things to do is if I see the running back go underneath, I'll just switch stick to this quarter flat, let the three rec kind of match there, and I'll just be able to take away any crossers coming backside. So a lot of good stuff within this video. Hopefully you picked up something. If you guys want to check out the rest of the defense, make sure that you join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. This ebook's going to be dropping in there any day now. So if you're not a member yet, 10 bucks gets you access to everything in our school community. You can sign up by clicking the link in the description below.